Okay, so problem five is the next one. The next one we're going to be doing. So here's what it is. The problem is basically to find the lowest number, the smallest number that is evenly divisible by all the numbers one to twenty. So evenly divisible obviously means it divides without remainder or without a decimal point. Um, so yeah, pretty simple problem. The the way you could do this, probably the best way to do this, is using something called the the prime factor theorem. Um, or something that is related to prime numbers. Uh, you basically factorise all the numbers up to 20 um, into their lowest prime, like into the primes. Then uh, you use them in a way, you, you Google this and find out the exact way, but basically you take like the, the primes that are unique to each number, um, multiply them all together, you end up with an answer, and that answer will probably be this number. I haven't actually done it that way, but if you want to do it that way, that's probably the best way to do it. I'm going to do brute force this in this video. Um, I might come back to this, and it might be like a, a point one of this video where I do it the other way, just because it's quite interesting. But for now, we can use brute force. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to um, really import anything. I don't think so. Let's, let's just define main for now. So inside main, what we're going to do. We're going to generate a. Are we going to generate a list of all the numbers? Uh, no, probably not. We probably don't need to do that. So what we can do is we can have. So we want to go up to all the numbers one to twenty. So what we're going to do, we need to start at twenty. So we're going to have target is equal to twenty. Now. We're going to need something to iterate through numbers, so we're going to have x, x is equal to 1 to start with, we're going to see if 1 is divisible by all the numbers 1 to 20, obviously it's not because it's too small, but yeah, we may as well start at 1. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have a while true loop, because we're going to want this to loop indefinitely until we find a solution. We're going to check if x is divisible by all the numbers that are less than target, and if it finds one that isn't, then we want to move on and iterate x. So basically, we're going to say if um, sorry for i in range target. So if we just print i here, whoops. If we just print i, we'll see um, what sort of numbers we're working with here. I'm pretty sure this can be all the numbers like to 19, and I'm not sure if it'll include zero, but we'll see. Um, I always forget about like zero indexing and whatnot. Um, and I'm just going to add a break in here just so we get out of this while loop we don't end up stuck. And then we're going to call main. So we'll save that. We'll run that. And there we go. So you see we've got zero up to 19. Now we don't actually want zero, so we're going to start at one. And we don't actually want to go to 19, we want to go to 20, so we're going to go to target plus 1. Now if we save that and run, you see we get 1 to 20, so this is perfect. Now, what we want is, um, we want to get rid of this, and we want to say, instead of printing i, we want to say, if um, x mod target is not equal to zero, so if it's not evenly divisible by it, then we want to. What do we want to do? We want to probably break out of this so we don't bother even checking the rest because that's pointless. Now, if. Um, if x is equal to. Oops, not x. If i. Uh, this is, shouldn't be target either, this should be i if x mod i. So if i is equal to 20, we know we've got to the the last number and none of those have told us to break. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, so we're going to check i equal 1. Now if x mod, mod 1 is not equal to 0, which it won't be, um, 1 obviously divides everything. Uh, so we're going to skip this. Now we're going to say if i is equal to 20, which obviously it's not. So then we're going to come to the end of this loop um, and we're going to iterate back through. So now i will be equal to 2. Now x is equal to 1, i is equal to 2. 
at this stage. So if two, uh, sorry, if one mod two is not equal to zero, which it isn't, um, because one does not divide evenly by two, then we're going to break. So we'll break out of this for loop. We'll go into the while loop, and then we'll do something else in a minute. You'll see that. Um, so that's working fine. I'm going to continue a sec because this won't make sense since I've done it, and I'll go through it afterwards. So if i equals twenty, we're going to say. Um, if sorry, if i equals twenty, we know it does divide twenty because it made it here. So we've actually got a solution here. So we're gonna answer equals i. Oops, equals i, and then we're gonna be down here and. Print answer. Now we'll get rid of that break, we don't need that. Now we want to set answer up here equal to zero, we haven't found one yet. Now if answer not equal to zero break. This will break us out the while loop. Um, x plus equals 1. This will mean we're iterating over x. Now this should actually work. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the target to 10 just to check this. And we're stuck in a loop. What loop are we stuck in? So Ah, okay, so what I've got here, um, oops, cancel this. So, where I've set if i equals 20 here, this should actually say target because then it would work with more numbers than just 20. So, now it should work with 10. There we go. So, it's printed 10 because obviously it's printed the i. Um, we don't want to print the i, we want to print the x. So, I don't actually care about doing this. Um, all I care about is changing answer. So, we could change answer. Uh, we could make that answer found and then we could change it to like true and we found an answer and then answer found up here is equal to false um, this would make more sense then if answer whoops answer found then we wouldn't need any of this so yeah this should be right uh, print then we're going to print x down here instead Okay, so you see there with the uh, the ten, we've found the actual answer it gave us earlier. So you see here it gives you the example of one to ten. Uh, Two thousand five hundred twenty was the answer. So we found that. Now this should work with any numbers. So I'm going to pass it twenty in a second. We'll see that it does actually find the answer. But I'm just going to go through how it works first. So we've got our target number. This is going to be the number that obviously we're checking up to. We want to find a number that's divisible by all these numbers. We've got our initial number we want to check, so 1. Now, answer found is going to be a, a boolean, so a true or false value, that tells us if we found an answer yet. So it starts out with false because we don't actually know what the answer is. Now, while true, so so this could actually say while answer found, um, or while not answer found, and then we could use that. That would probably be cleverer, but I'm just going to keep it as is because that's how I did it at the time. It made more sense to me. So, while true, we're going to stay inside this loop until we break out of it. For i in range, 1 to target plus 1, so we saw what this did. This just gives you a list of all the numbers 1 to the target, so 1 to 10. If x mod this number is not equal to 0, so if we found a number that does not divide into x, then we can break because we know x is not our answer because it doesn't divide by all of them because we just found one that doesn't buy. It doesn't divide by. So we'll break out, and then because we broke, um, where we go after this break is we go to here, so this would be the next place we'd end up after that break. Then we'd say if answer found, so if and then whatever this is, so this will be false because we haven't entered this loop yet. So this will say if false, so it's false, so it doesn't go into here. 
it skips this and it goes down to here. Now it moves on and it says right x plus equals 1. Now it's at the end of the while loop and it hasn't broke out of it so let's start again. This time x is equal to 2. Then it loops through again and again and again until it hasn't hit this condition here and eventually what it'll do is it'll not hit this um, and it'll try this one and it'll say if i is equal to target so if it doesn't hit this so say say our x is 5 and our sorry say our x is 4 and our i is 1 now 1 does go into 4 so it's not going to hit this it's going to check this and it's going to say is i equal to target now i is currently 1 and our target is 10 so it doesn't we're going to skip this, we're going to iterate through again, so we're going to say i equal to 2. Now if x, which is 4, mod 2 is not equal to 0, which um, 4 mod 2 is equal to 0, so I'll skip this again. Now it'll say is i equal to target, it won't. So as you can see, eventually, it'll eventually get to a stage where the number it's checking is equal to the target. And then we know we found the answer because the target is actually divide, uh, divisible by i, and i is the highest number we're going to be checking. Um, Hopefully this makes sense, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this, but yeah, so it's just going to check all the numbers until it finds one that's visible by all of them basically. Okay, so, if I put 20 in here, let's see how long this takes, it might actually take a while, not too sure. Yeah, so as you can see this will be better done with the uh, prime factors. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a print statement in here. I'm going to print. Um, I'm going to print x just so that I can see roughly how quick it's going. So you can see very slowly. Now, this is obviously in the hundreds of thousands range. And the answer is actually in the hundreds of millions range, so this is going to take ages. Um, what if I... Instead of printing there, what if I... If I change this number to 15, and I just see how long this takes to run. So it got to 360,000 really quick. Um, Change the 18. So that got up to 12 million really quick. Um, we have to get up to 232 million, so it won't take too long. I'm going to run this and just let go. Um, this will find an answer, but as I say, it's terrible. There'll be a point one of this video 100% I might actually make it like right after this video um, using the prime prime number stuff I was on about um, I just wanted to make a brute force song because I figured it was easy to understand but now trying to explain it is pretty terrible so hopefully you understand this code um, obviously what we're doing basic like the basics of what we're doing is we're checking a number and we're saying does that number divide by every number that we need it to if it doesn't, we're going to iterate the number, and if it does, we're going to break out because we found our answer. That is all, basically all we're doing in, in these lines of code right here. So that this for loop just obviously checks every number rather than just checking one of them. Um, yeah, and then we just iterate an X to get up there to make sure we do find an answer eventually. Obviously there's a lot of optimizations you can make to this, stuff like, um, so for example if something's divisible by 10, we know it's divisible by 2 and 5, so we don't need to check 2 and 5, we can just check 10, um, stuff like that, but that, that's basically getting into the, the prime number stuff I was on about, um, 
which I'll be doing in the point one version of this video, so I'm not going to be bothering to change any of that. This is literally just going to find us an answer, and then I'll be done with this video, I'll make the next one right after it. So yeah, if you're looking for a better solution, then that next video will be for you. This is incredibly slow. I thought it would have been done by now. Another thing you can do to speed this up, obviously, is um, it's divisible by all numbers 1 to 20. We know it's going to be divisible by 2, 3, 5, all these numbers. So you could just iterate x by um, a larger number. So for example, we could iterate by 10, because we know if it's divisible by 2 and 5, it's going to be divisible by 10. It's going to be divisible by 10. Um, so we know it'll end in a 0, the number that we're looking for. So yeah, we could iterate it by 10. You could obviously then take this here and we know it's going to be divisible by 3, so we could iterate it by 30 instead. Um, I might actually run this again in a sec once it's found the answer. Just showing that, showing how you, how you do that. Wow, this is taking a long time. Okay, so while that's running, what I'm going to do, I am going to change this code, I'm going to say, I'm going to start x at, there we go, I found an answer, so you can see, 232792560, now the answer, 232792560, so it did find us an answer, um, I'm not sure how long that took, but obviously it's, you're watching the video, so just go scan back through, see how long it took you, well it took me, um, pretty sure it was at least a minute or so, might have been longer, so yeah, let's, make a couple of changes and see how long this takes. So, like I just said, divisible by 2, 5 and 3 means it's divisible by 30. So I'm going to start at 30, iterate by 30, and run that. Now, if it's divisible by 2, 3, 5, it's going to also be divisible by 7, so we could make this actually 210. You can see that one's done already, um, and it did find the right answer. So it's divisible by 7 as well, so we're going to make this 210. Now it's also going to be divisible by 11, so we could make this um, 2310. 2310. Now, 2310, if I run this one, I would expect this to be done extremely quick. There we go, so it's done already. You can see just by making that very small tweak um, how quick it's done. Hopefully, you understand why I'm able to use these numbers. If you don't, don't worry about it. the next video where I do the prime number. Thing. Um, that's going to hopefully go through it in a bit more detail, but yeah, this is a solution for now, this one will work, um, so yeah, hopefully if you were stuck it helped. Not a great solution, I'll be honest, it took ages, um, but it's hopefully simple enough to follow, we're basically just brute forcing, does this number divide by all the numbers, if it does, brilliant final answer, if it doesn't, iterate it, so yeah, thanks for watching, if you want to see more, subscribe. If you like the video, like it, and if you want to see the improved version of this, um, it'll be going up shortly after this video, I would imagine. I'm going to make it right now. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.